Hello everyone, welcome back to another brand new Azure serverless container videos. In this video, I'm going to be talk a little bit more about Azure container instance. Previously, I made two videos this week and in this video, actually I discuss about a single container. So what it means is basically this. If you go to the Azure portal and you land on container instances you can choose a couple of options so whichever options you choose from here you cannot create more than one container this is the primary container a single container that you can create what happens if you need a sidecar container if you are not familiar with sidecar container a container that runs side by side with another container give you an example let's say you have a web application which is the main container application right and then you need another container to watch over your application let's say periodically you want to send some requests to, to check the health status of your application there are many use cases of sidecar container if you're familiar with kubernetes this is a very simple thing that people talk about every now and then sidecar container for the logging for auditing a lot of different use cases for it right so from the portal as you can see you cannot create more than one container so what happens if i want to create two containers is this possible yes from the portal you cannot do that but from the cli you can do so and this is what exactly i'm going to be showing you in in this video is stay tuned if you are new to my channel do not forget to give this video a thumbs up so now this is what i am going to go through today so i'm going to deploy a multi container to azure container instance and we are going to have a manifest file which is basically yaml file that's where we have the container definition and then i'm going to deploy and do some operations okay so first of all let me go here in this directory i'm going to push this code anywhere to github so you can follow and play with this afterward if you're interested in under this directory sci i have a yaml file and this yaml file has the definition for my containers so i'm gonna go through line by line first of all this is the api version we have the location is east us and the name is basically tag with foizur properties under properties we have container definition the container definition starts with this one with name and under it you have properties and in here you can see we have got the image the image is taken from azure docs and then here we define the container resources so we are saying that this container should have one cpu and one gb of memory and then the port 80 and 8080 basically going to be exposed and in here we have the sidecar container definition so you start with the name properties as it is and here we define pretty much the same stuff but the image is different so this is a web application and this one a sidecar container these two are going to run side by side okay and this container is going to basically send http request periodically via the local network to this container we are going to go through them after we deploy them so here we define the OS type so we say this is going to be linux and we want to get the public ip address and here if you have noticed i did not talk about a dns name we don't really care about dns if you want dns then you need to use the label for it and we have a tag and the type is going to be container instance groups so these are like 32 lines of yaml file for defining two containers so basically we are talking about multi containers deployment to azure container instances so next thing what we're gonna do we basically need to run it before that we are going to do this resources source called tag with Pfizer, and this is going to be on this particular region so let me create this after that i have this step-by-step -step documentation here as well so this is what i could do from the cli i did not do i did it basically from the portal you can see my directory is sci and under it i have got these files so let's drag it a little bigger and then i'm not going to type it to save some time so i'm gonna paste it so if i paste it if everything goes okay this should create the container let's go ahead and see what happens with this no such file or directory multi container ACI yaml so i said deploy multi container ACI there are two dots unfortunately so we need to make sure that we make it correct once it is done i'm going to run one more time 
so this time this should be correct so you can see it's running so basically it's going to fire up two containers in Azure SCI one of them is going to be the main container main container is basically the application container and side can container is going to send some HTTP request to this container since they're on the same local network so both containers can talk to each other okay this should be fairly very quick so it seems like the provisioning is steady succeeded so this one is created successfully I got container count 2 here you can see so our resource is created there is no DNS name as we expected which is absolutely fine if I go to containers this time I can see two containers right there and if I go to logs you can see it's sending some requests already properties you can see the container specification this is absolutely good if we go here we can see this is successfully deployed and if I want to go and see the logs I should be able to see the logs so you can see the request is 200 and this is the IP address and if you look at here successful request right there and now if I go ahead and see the this is for the main container this was for the main container you can see and if I go ahead with this I should be able to see container logs sidecar container name research oh, I'm sorry this is a tag with Pfizer so I should be able to fix this tag with Pfizer and the container group is also wrong so it should be tag with Pfizer this time I should get it correct so you can see what is doing is curling to localhost and this is what it gets in response and we go to overview and we copy this and if I just paste it you can see 239 you can access this particular web application so this is how you can deploy multi containers to Azure SCI I hope that you found this video useful if that is the case, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you everyone. Bye-bye. Talk to you soon.